I know. I was just saying about my cat and... Not cat! Cat! My cat! This never happens. She's never been away this long. Wait, your cat is gone too? Hmm, both cats gone. This is no time for pastries, Crumbs. It's always time for pastries. But what I was going to say is, we need a search party. I was too busy packing to keep an eye on him. Now I can't leave. Not without Cat. She's really leaving. Cat, out there somewhere, alone, and no one to brush her fur or bejewel her little bitty tiara. I'm sure there's a good reason they're both gone. With all the rain we've had, maybe they got stuck in some mud puddle or trapped by a landslide. Or fell into a sinkhole! Uh, Rosie, not helping. I'm sure the cats are fine, but it's best not to waste time. The search parties need to head out. How are we doing? The La La Loopsie Festival starts in a few hours. Send it up! In order to achieve maximum stereophonic veracity, we must make sure the decibel levels of both sound cones are sonically in sync. with Cat? What makes you think that? Because they're always hanging out together? That's not exactly evidence. <laughs> Pets, sometimes it's like we don't even speak the same language. I'm sure they told us everything they know. If their friends are lost, they surely want them found. <laughs> Stormy, did you ever consider... That maybe Cat took off because he didn't want you to leave town? That was always the plan. Why would he leave now? Have you thought of maybe, you know, sticking around a while longer? I'm almost all packed. Plans are already in motion. <laughs> Looks like somebody's <laughs> awake. Hey, maybe Poodle knows where Cat is. Here, Cat! I have a hot gemstone massage on a velvet pillow waiting for you! I've been meaning to ask, has Kat been displaying any odd behavior lately? Well, she has seemed extra hungry and been kind of moody. Why? It could be separation anxiety, because Stormy's cat is leaving and she'll be losing a great friend. <sighs> I know how she feels. I wish Stormy wasn't leaving. Without Stormy around, who's going to mess up my hair? Or, or get on my nerves? Or tell me I'm wrong? Dogs are great trackers. They can find stuff using their sense of smell. Go get them, girl. That way. So much for being a great tracker. Sorry. I really thought it would help. Poodle's not super useful, but she's still pretty cute. And hungry, apparently. <laughs> Here you go. Have a treat. Cat's favorite toy! If hearing this doesn't get him to come home, nothing will. She said come home. We've looked everywhere. I know. Meow. Pretty good, right? I sound just like Stormy's cat. Meow. But I thought that both cats were together. There's no proof of that. Wow. Over there is where we first did an art project together. Wow. And this is where I heard her singing a silly nonsense song. Wow, 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 wow. And this is where we had a big argument, but then we made up. Wow. You're talking about Stormy, not Cat. Am I? Oh, yes. Maybe I am. You really are going to miss her, aren't you? I suppose so. More than I realized. But I can't think about that now. I simply must find Cat. Meow! Meow! I remember the first time I passed this tree heading into town. 
And the first time I ate a crumb. And the first time I got cake all over Jewel. <laughs> Good times. Wow! <sighs> Did you hear that? I think it might be Cat. Doesn't sound like any cat I've ever heard. Do you hear that? It sounds like a cat toy. Meow. Meow. Sounds kind of weird. Once you find him, you leave? Meow. Meow. Your meows sound very sad. Don't you want to find Cat? Of course I do. But if I find Stormy's cat with my cat, meow, Stormy will leave. And the more I think about it, meow, the more I want her to stay. I've never had a friend like her before. She's really special. She pushes me and questions me. And even though she can drive me crazy, she's helped me become a better person. I'm going to miss her. Jewel. Oh, Stormy. I heard some jingling. That was me. We heard some meows. That was me. Or should I say that was me ow? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all need to go help Dot. No, she said she had. Uh huh, exactly. We all have to go help Dot. You really meant what you said about wanting me to stay and how I'm a special friend to you? Yes. I mean, sure, you're high maintenance. Totally worth it. <laughs> that means a lot, coming from someone who knows everything about high maintenance. You're pretty cool for a princess. <laughs> I think Cat would really like to stay in Lala Loopsie Land. In fact, I think he and Cat run off somewhere to spend a little more time together. I think so too. But why would they just go off like that without saying a word? You pets look like you've got something to say. What do you mean it's kind of a secret? If you know something, spill it. Yes, no secrets. What looks like a wedding ceremony. <gasps> wedding ceremony? Impossible. Cat would never exchange nuptials without requesting that I arrange the party. Maybe she was worried you'd stop it, since Cat was about to leave town. Or maybe this is Stormy's Cat's way of saying he wants to be with Cat and wants to stay. Sometimes a guy has feelings for someone and can't stand the idea of that someone going away. It's so romantic! Running off together so you can't keep them apart. But this is Cat's home, no matter what. And this is my Cat's home. Uh, uh, until we leave, I mean. So you would still leave and take Cat away from Cat? Or leave him here while you leave without him? No, I mean, yes, I mean... Uh, I'm not sure. We need your help, Dot. We can't find Cat and Cat anywhere. I meowed, and Stormy shook a bell so that they could hear us. Right idea, but probably not loud enough. Luckily, I can fix that. My new stereophonical conical sound system. It's sure to reach the cats. Great, but how do we convince them it's okay to come back? We send them a message together. And the best way to do that is... With a song. I'll get my guitar. As long as we're together, there's no storm we cannot weather. When you're with me, you have always got a friend. You can travel far and wide some, but the feeling you can't hide from is that home is where your journey's meant to end. Because home is where the heart is.
mean? Why would they run away like this? Oh, I don't know what else to do. We've looked everywhere. We sang our hearts out. Maybe they just didn't hear us. Or maybe they did, and they just don't want to come back. Let's not jump to any conclusions. If your cats are still in Lala Loopsy Land, your heartfelt plea will reach them. Don't worry, friends. We'll find your cats. Probably. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I should put this away first. I connected my sound jars to the stereophonical conical to record the sounds of the festival, but I don't think anyone is in the mood for that now. Huh? Cat! They did hear us! Play it again! They're lost in the woods and want us to come find them. As head of the Lala Loopsy Land Search and Rescue Committee, I proclaim Operation Safe Cat uh, and Cat on! Okay, the last known location of the cats was here. The sound jar recorded them here. My conclusion is the cats are here. That's where we are now. They should be here. Let's move! What's the matter, Poodle? Are they trapped? In a well? Man, I wished one of us spoke Poodle. I don't need to speak her language to know she's on to something. Let's go! Am I the only one who remembers what happened last time we followed Poodle? <laughs> I, um... Don't say it. I should have known. It's just a worthless, smelly old shoe. Hmm. Nevertheless, it seems Poodle's enthusiasm for odoriferous objects has taken us off course. I'm not sure which path to follow. I say right. What do you mean right? It's so obvious we should go left. Isn't your disagreeing what got us here in the first place? Spot's right. Let's try your way, Stormy. Bah. Thanks. Weren't we just here? I think we're going in circles. Worse, we're lost! We'll never find them at this rate. What a mess! And it's all my fault! Not all yours. I should have listened. Kat's been trying to tell me something for days. Me too. Kat's been acting so funny lately. Moody, hungry, sneaking around. Almost like she had a big secret. Bigger than getting married and not telling us? I am the worst friend ever. Me too. I was so focused on what I wanted, I didn't bother to ask Kat what she wanted. What are we going to do? We're going to find them and make it up to them. If only I could just tell them how sorry I am. I would do anything to tell Kat that right now. Kat? No! Kat! I was so worried! I promise I will always listen to you from now on. Come back to our house and you can tell me everything. I can't wait to give you a bath and brush you and see you sleeping in your own bed. What do you mean, no? You need to tell me something? <gasps> we gotta get them to my house! Stat! Oh, when will the waiting end? It's been ages. It's been three minutes. That's enough time to drive me crazy, especially waiting for something so important. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. From now on, I'm going to tell people what I'm feeling. I don't want you to leave Lala Loopsy Land! You don't? Uh, I didn't know. Because I never told you. But we disagree about everything. Where's the fun if everyone agrees all the time? Please stay, Stormy. Please? It's a boy! And a girl! <gasps> and another girl! <laughs> Three adorable kittens. Congratulations! <laughs> wow, Cat. Now I understand why you went into the woods. You thought I was going to take you away from your family. I'm so sorry. I promise I will never make you feel that way again. Aren't they precious?
precious? I have an idea. The cat's eloped, so why don't we give them a proper wedding ceremony? It will be the biggest, bestest, most spectacular celebration anyone has ever seen. What do you say, Stormy? Well, normally I'm not a fan of fancy events, but in this case, totally worth it. <laughs> Beloved, we are gathered here for the first time to witness Cat and Cat again and their three adorable kittens for the first time to get married again by renewing their vows. Before we begin, Jewel, Stormy, do you have anything to say? Yes, I do. Before you start, let me just say this is a very special day for Cat and Cat and me. Through their love and your friendship, I've learned a lot. I'd like to show you just how much you mean to me. That's great, but I... Hold that thought! As chairman of the Lala Lootsieland Welcome Committee, and your friend, I present you with this. Jeez Louise, read it already! On this special day, when we celebrate the cat's love for each other and their kittens, we also celebrate one stormy sky by making her a permanent citizen of Lala Loopsy Land? Is this what I think it is? It's official! You are now the proud owner of your very own piece of Lala Loopsy Land. You never have to move, unless you want to. I guess you really do want me to stay. Of course! I always did. Well, maybe not always, but mostly always. Sure, we disagree, but that just made me a better friend because I had to try harder. And now we're family. Thanks. Being here, knowing you, has changed me for the better, too. What's your answer, Stormy? Will you stay? If you don't mind, there's something I'd like to do first. I was scared for a while, but now I feel at home and safe. I'm ready to show everyone that. Is this thing on? Woke up this morning with something to say. Almost packed my things and got on my way. Yeah. But then a voice inside said, maybe I should stay. This is nice. The perfect place to relax on cool summer nights. Anytime. It's here to stay. To dear friends, we've come a long way from when you first arrived in Lala Lootsy Land. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it never rains again. I hope it does. It makes things grow. Like us. Rain or shine, I'm not going anywhere. I'm so glad to hear that. So, when do we talk about redecorating your house? I was thinking a coat of pink to start. Maybe Spock could do a mural. Possibly of me, because you know we're best friends. Um, and maybe a coat of glitter. I'm thinking pink. That is your favorite color, right? It's mine, too! 
<laughs> and and Sunny can be landscape. Some lilac. Good to know some things never change. And how about a bedazzled <laughs> disco ball? I think I have a spare. <laughs>